People rarely see them in action, yet search dogs and their handlers respond to hundreds of call-outs a year. In an ever-changing world, the role of search dogs has altered dramatically. They are just as likely to be looking for missing children in inner city areas as they are to be working in the mountains, helping to find lost walkers and climbers. In one year alone, search dogs responded to over 230 call-outs, most of them at night. They are all unpaid volunteers. Search and rescue dogs are the unsung heroes of mountain rescue. Search dogs and their handlers are on call 24 hours a day, every day of the year, and will go anywhere in response to a call-out. You will now see how search dogs are trained and how they work to save lives. Before a search dog and handler get onto the call-out list, there's a lot of hard work to do. First, you have to be a full member of a recognized mountain rescue team. That can take up to 12 months. Navigational skills, mountain craft, fitness and first aid need to be perfected. You then wait for the chance to submit your name for search dog training and of course, you need the most important element, a dog. class is the starting point for both new dog handler and the partner in this special team, the trainee search dog. Years of experience from other dog handlers goes into every stage of setting the trainee dog team in the right direction. The great game of hide and seek is at the heart of puppy training. Obedience training comes later. The first step is to encourage the hunting instinct with reward and encouragement. Finding people becomes a way of life for both of them. Now we see several finds where the dog always barks to indicate to the handler that the target has been found. Every search dog is regularly tested with livestock, usually sheep, provided by a friendly farmer. The dogs are expected to ignore the animals, but not to be intimidated by them. Slowly wandering around the field lets the dogs relax. Then, a closer encounter with the sheep, this is the hardest challenge the dogs will face. Finally, the walkthrough. The handler and dog walk towards the flock. The dog is expected to be under the handler's control at every second. After the all-important stock test, we move on to obedience training. Experience has shown that the first stage of training, playing hide-and-seek, is the most important for a trainee search dog. After the initial training has started, obedience work is gradually included. All dogs must reach a good standard. The training is rigorous for both the dog and the handler. For the handler, it's very much a case of dedication. Remember, they're all unpaid volunteers. They give their time freely, and a lot of that time is taken up with less exciting exercises, such as obedience training. <coughs> On now to advanced training. Search and rescue dogs are not tracker dogs. They use airborne scent to find their targets. A dog has thousands more scenting cells in its nose than a human being, and this gives it the ability to find a person where all other methods will fail. Even with all the modern technology of thermal cameras and helicopters, a search dog will often be the first to find a lost person. Watch now as a search dog picks up a scent from over 400 yards away and leads the handler right up to the casualty.
When a walker is reported missing, all the resources of the Mountain Rescue Service swing into action. One dog team is already searching, another team is being airlifted in to help. Search dogs can cover immense areas of land and it's not long before search dog Moss makes a find. Boy, go on, show me! Good boy! While the casualty receives first aid, the helicopter is ready to fly the victim to safety. Another search dog mission accomplished.